I think we got we got them for our wedding so people can share. It looks really good. There's, it's very good. There's great. Mary's drink she wants. You know, the kid version basically it lists all the sodas. What is going on everybody? Today is a big day. Do you know why it's a big day? Today is the day before the wedding. <laughs> and we're excited. We still have so much to do. There's our Christmas tree with no decorations. We have not had time to decorate it, but we got the tree, so that's positive. Anyway, we, there's so much to do, but we wanted to take a few minutes and just talk about everything we did and planned to try and save a little bit of money on our wedding. We Sorry, I was actually looking at the back <laughs> of his hair. I just cut his hair. Just because weddings are expensive as anybody who got married knows and as we found out very quickly everything's very expensive so we did our best to try and save where we could so here let's take a look around and see what we see this machine this cricket machine was a lifesaver it saved us so much money because weddings you want to customize everything right cops invitations this that the other thing and I think we spent 150 bucks on it and we were able to make literally everything we needed for the wedding. So it was really, really helpful. We made our custom invitations, which was great. Um, I, I have a picture, I'll show you a picture. They're all hand cut, handwritten. It looks amazing, they came out great. So that was the first one. The second thing we did were these cups. Now I know cups are a big, cups are a big like wedding favor. Everyone makes everybody custom cups and blah, blah, blah. So we made, Everybody, these. See, here's one cup with their name on it. They're and so cool. The back, we use this. Our little logo with our name, the date, etc. It was great. Vinyl, super cheap. Saved us a bunch of money. That's, who doesn't love that? Next, oh God, look at this. This is all, this is all wedding stuff. All wedding stuff. There, over there, not that white box, but that is, that is. That it, it's all Mary's over there doing whatever with that. It's all it's all wedding stuff. <laughs> Just non-stop. It's taking over our lives. I can't even walk in the room. I know we're gonna get so much extra space back in our room when this is over. We spent a lot of time at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. I think I think they know our names at this point. We spent so much time there. But and it's not without good reason. They got great stuff that you can customize like this our seating one of our seating charts or the seating chart has everybody's name on it all cut written i wanted to do fancier cuts but mary was over it she was like i just want to get it done now this was like one of the last things we did mary was like just finish it just I, get it done i think it looks really good but the <coughs> only pro i just i i'm good it, it, i'm good i mean after a while you start to get like oh that's it those cups oh my god i'm glad i never have to make another cup again because i'm done <laughs> We custom made some, I mean the cups are one of their favors and then one of these are their favors. We we custom cut these little signs. They're, it's hard to tell because it's the same color. But we custom cut this sign and then a little bag with some treats inside for everybody to enjoy later. We got oodles and noodles of those. We got actually probably one of the smartest, hold on. Before it had ticking all through it, the audio. I don't know what's wrong with this microphone. One of the smartest things we did, actually, <laughs> probably, we went to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I forget which one, right after Easter. And as you know, Easter's baskets, and they had all their baskets on sale. So look at this beautiful basket that Mary customized a little bit. She changed the ribbon, added a bow. The whole thing was like $4 after the ribbons and the bows. It's awesome. It's so cute. This is and then I like made, <clears throat> you can't really see it all too well, but I super glued or hot glue gun their name and added sparkles. Cool. Little customization. <laughs> My favorite actually, talk about customization. I originally had shoes that we talked about in the other videos for my dress, but they're too high, I'm too tall. So I had an extra pair of cute sandals that actually matched the color of my wedding and I fixed them and made wedding shoes. I dropped it. I made them, how cute are they? I love it, so cute. My favorite. I made my own wedding shoes. Okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, one of the best things we did probably saved hundreds, if not a thousand dollars or more was 
we decided to customize our bar and do the bar ourselves instead of hiring somebody to do it for us. Now this, this was probably one of the most difficult tasks because you figure out who drinks what, how much you need, blah, blah, blah. I think we narrowed it down to a nice system, but we, we set up what they, what do they call it? A signature bar? Yes, signature a, bar. We set up a signature bar. So there's three drinks, plus soft drinks, plus beer. And it really cuts down on the cost of like the bar for the wedding. Because we were getting quotes for like $40, $50 a person for like an open bar. So we're like, forget that. We did our own open bar. We got plenty of alcohol for everybody to drink. Because that's a big thing at the wedding. Plenty of sodas. And it just saved a bunch of money. Now, I, I did show you guys my custom wedding sign, but I'll show you again my bar sign for the, for the bar that I made, handmade. I was actually very impressed at how well it came out. I don't think anybody else is, but I'm, I was pretty excited when I did it. This is our custom hashtag for our wedding so people can share and then we can find the photos later. It took him long enough. It's 12 years, one, two, 12 years. Took him long enough. Once again, custom sign. This sign was like $4 or something. And then I just customized it. I printed out some vinyl with some magic, uh, with some glittery Sharpies and it came out great. Look at that. You know, you order these signs online and they're like, the signs are like 15, 20, 30, $40 a piece. I can buy a sign for $5, customize it for 20 cents and boom. It's there, it's done, it's easy. Oh, here's another sign we made. We had, we reused a frame that we had, but look, I, I had the machine draw this for us, perfect. This costs like maybe 30 cents between the ink and the paper, and we have the frame. Beautiful. And if you see a little hidden heart there, there's a little hidden heart. <laughs> I don't think it's really hidden. I mean, it's right there. This, this is one of the bar signs. And I made this is the kid, you know, the kid version basically. It lists all the sodas, the special drink. Bella needed Shirley Temples at the wedding. So we got those. And then the two types of beer we're going to have. Once again, customized. Cut out vinyl, colored it with Sharpie, glittery Sharpies. I think they came out amazing. I think the picture frame cost $10. Yeah, $10 because it was 50% off. Yeah, that's one thing at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. They always have 50% off deals. 40% coupons all the time. So you really just gotta time your visit right, give you enough time to keep going back and back and back because all these chalkboard type signs were on sale for like a month, 50% off. So it was like, everything was half off. It's easy, bro, easy. This one, I think came out so great. I don't think anybody's as impressed at it as I am. I am, I think it looks really good. There's, it's very great. There's Mary's drink she wanted to have. It's a margarita. This is like a tipsy turtle. It's very delicious, you should try it. And then my mom's favorite drink, because we needed one more, cranberry and vodka, pretty simple. I think it came out amazing. It is, and another $10 frame, so for maybe... $22. $22. We, we have, got two custom bar signs. Yeah, and they look great, and they're, they're real, it looks great. Otherwise, you'd spend like $60 on Etsy or something. Another thing we... I mean, we make videos, we have cameras, so they're like, you want a photo booth? I'm like, no, we'll set up a photo booth ourselves. I got, I already have like a 60 inch tripod, a spare camera, so I'm gonna do that. And then once again, I made another sign. This one came out amazing. Boom. And then we got, we got props and stuff on Amazon for like five bucks. I think photo booths were what? 500 bucks, 600 bucks? Uh, I think she wanted to charge us about Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, for a and how much booth. did it cost us? Uh, Fifteen bucks. Well, maybe twenty with the props. Yeah, it's pretty good. So perfect. This one and we kind of we kind of lucked out with our venue. They're very like lackadaisical about everything. They're like, oh, you want to do it yourself? Okay. You want to do that yourself? Okay. They're not like, oh, you have to use our stuff. So it was the venue's great. As the venue's great so far. Tomorrow will be the test. <laughs> so here's. Here's all the stuff for our bar. Oh, we got it. wine, kid champagne, Martinelli's. This stuff is amazing. I may just drink that. And we got mixers and rum and vodka and tequila. I mean, this is all just mixers and vodka and stuff. You think all in all, the bar at the end of the day costs like three or four hundred dollars instead of a thousand, fifteen hundred. I mean, it was it was better than 
half off to just do it ourselves. So it was definitely worth it. It was, I'll be honest, it was a little aggravating trying to figure it all out. But in the end, it was worth it. And, I, and honestly, I think I have more than enough. Like, we're going to be coming home with a lot of alcohol and we don't drink, so I don't know what we're going to do with it. The trick is to your own personal DIY bar is to... Whoa! Too close, man. Is to price match. Definitely price match. Walmart doesn't price match, but everybody else does. Uh, look for deals. Look for coupons. We probably saved $200 because we were very careful how we purchased it, how we bought everything, going to Total Wine, going to ABC, going to Walmart for the mixers Publix. in the store, right, Publix. You, I mean, I know it's a pain in the neck to go from store to store, but if you're on a, you know, you're on a dime and you want to... And you have internet, so you can just look it up. Right. Like Publix, which is a local grocery store for us, they had a deal on the rum. You buy two, you get $15 back. So instead of $40 for two bottles of rum, it was only 25 bucks. Boom, saving. And these, those are the gifts. We don't have bridal parties or groom's parties or anything like that. Um, these are just gifts for, these are gifts for people who's helped us either financially or helped us emotionally or helped us etc so there's there was four people that helped us significantly with our wedding so we wanted to just show our appreciation so we got we got them gifts we packed them ourselves we got these the containers were all at Hobby Lobby for 50% off they are Christmassy but it did save money and they are festive it's not like and they're not overly Christmas like see this one that's all they are and this one's a red box now um, are what? we opening them I was just about to say, I don't think Mary wants me to open them, but... You can open, just uh, sit down, just not the top one, because that one's very snug. What? But you can open up the other one. What? Oh, well, well I'll, sh I'll show you just how we customized it. I won't show you what it actually, like, what the whole thing is, but I'll show you how we customized it here. See, we got, we got them a blanket, a nice blanket, and we got it embroidered with Mr. and Mrs. Bavosa, the date, and it's very soft, very very soft snuggly this one I got for my brother and I customized it myself it's he he's his, his new addiction is bourbon don't say that <laughs> his, no, his, his, his new hobby is bourbon so I got him a nice bottle of bourbon and then I customized it I got it etched I did it myself I'm trying to get it to show up better on the camera can you help? we got a night but you can see it there. So Mommy. once again, saved us money because to get people to etch liquor bottles is expensive. So it worked out. Everything worked out. We saved money everywhere we can. And I feel like we did save oodles and noodles of money. When Mary went dress shopping, she didn't, she didn't sacrifice her dress. She didn't get a dress she didn't want. But it just so happens the dress she did want was on sale for like half price. So that was like millions of dollars saved right there even though even though I, why are you so close to my face because you gotta get in it even though i had my problems i'm still happy with my dress i just wish it was not so stressful and aggravating so all for the low price of like 150 bucks for that cricket machine we customized cups we customized uh seating charts we customized <laughs> Uh, bar signs, we customized liquor bottles, we custom we customized everything we could possibly customize, treat bag, and I think it was worth it. Like I said, saved us a bunch of money. All these little, you don't realize that when you're planning a wedding or even a party that all these little things add up. Like, oh, it's $40 for this sign, $10 for that sign, $20 for this sign, $60 for that sign. Before you know, you spend $1,000 on stupid signs, you know? And it's like, they're so custom that you can't really reuse them. It's a thing you're going to use once in your life. So we just tried to save money everywhere we could, and I think we did a great job. Like I said, make sure you go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and shop their sales because you'll save a bunch of money. They always have those coupons. What? And I think that DIYing and personalizing everything, it's more sentimental, it's more um, our own. Instead of having somebody else create something else with their own, you know, their own designs, their own thoughts, it's our thoughts, it's our designs. You know, so it's, it's more, more it's more personable because it's now our wedding and not, you know, 
fancy smancy on Etsy. And I just want to comment, comment that I got a, I got quite a few compliments on my invitation that was hand cut, hand written, hand folded. I mean the machine did it, but it was with live ink and it was hand cut and I think it turned out amazing. They turned out amazing. And everybody seemed to love them. So that was that was great. Anyway, we have so much to do. If you haven't noticed, Mary's been in the background just moving stuff all around. Yep. We will see you guys tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow. I mean, we'll see what's going to happen. But it's the day before the wedding, so we're very busy. We just want to check in, share with you guys everything we did to save some money. And we are so excited to go get married tomorrow and share it with you guys. Remember to always enjoy the journey, even if it's planning a big old wedding and it's super stressful. Ah! <laughs> we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And the next time you see us, will we miss her and miss